Hi everybody and welcome to Yummy Eats for One. I'm Chef Tim Bob because you know on YouTube everybody's got to be chef. Hello, hello. Today we're going to do some savory baked lamb ribs. Why am I calling savory baked lamb ribs? Well, because I can't think of anything else. All right, here's the other half of that one piece from the package that I used for the stuffed lamb breast. Now, as you can see, it's got a nice layer of meat here. you got your bone, a nice layer of fat on top. And on the bottom, nice layer of meat right here. And... Of course, the first thing you're going to do is salt and pepper them really good on both sides. Freshly ground black pepper and freshly ground sea salt or kosher salt. For our spices, we're going to need one tablespoon of minced garlic, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper and one teaspoon of ginger powder and a pinch of saffron which is optional saffron which by the way is the most expensive spice in the world but you can find a thing about this size in you know your ethnic aisle for at the body of spices are at it runs about four bucks and this will last you a long time so don't be afraid to use it Take some of your spice mixture here and rub it on the bottom because this one actually has a lot, kind of a lot of meat on it there. So rub your spice mixture on there. Well, you already got your salt and pepper. Rub it onto the sides. And rub some onto the top. Get a nice good coating on it. Yeah, with the garlic and all the spices in there. Yeah, I'm using gloves because with turmeric and paprika and all this very colorful things, and you're going to sting your hands bad. So if you have gloves, use them. All right. And there's still a little bit left, which I could use later for glazing. Now you want to cover it tightly with aluminum foil. And then put it into a preheated 300 degree oven for two and a half hours. So then you can sit here and go do stuff. Now while those are cooking, I can get myself a green onion that I chopped up. And a quarter cup of water. And mix it in with my marinade. Because later it, near the end, I'm going to probably simmer this down until it thickens up and they'll make a nice glaze for it. It's been two and a half hours and as you can see it's nice and fork tender and now you want to crank your oven up to 400. I'm taking the spices with the water and the green onion here and now I've got it on the heat and I'm gonna let it go and reduce a bit and then I'll make a glaze and by then the oven should be all nice and preheated to 400 Pour the glaze on top and put it back in the oven to get it all nice and crispy. Okay, now take your sauce, put it on top like that, and then just stick it in the oven for about 5-10 minutes, you know, until it's to your liking. <laughs> Anyways, after about 5 minutes, I'm just going to go down in here and put the glaze back over the ribs. And... Stick it in for another five minutes. Put your ribs on a plate there. And then pour on the last of the sauce out of here. Just put your ribs on a plate. Pour the last, what's left of the sauce on there. And bon appetit.